My name is David Miller. I'm a managing director here in the communications group at Citadel Securities, and I'm joined today by Josh Woods, the head of options, CES, ETF, and research technology. Josh, thanks for joining me today. Absolutely. Can you start with how tech enables uh, our trading and options? Absolutely. So on the options front, it's, it's really a unique business because we do everything from fully systematic trading, you know, that's largely machine driven, all the way to completely discretionary trading where we have portfolio managers doing research and thinking about ideas and figuring out how to put on trades. So given that diversity, there's, there's a huge range of technical needs. We need things as basic as the technical systems that connect to the markets and know how to electronically interact with them, all the way towards tools to enable data processing for research and ideation, uh, tools to help traders actually manually enter trades, manage orders, uh, and things like that. So in particular in that business, there's, there's a huge amount of diversity in the, the capabilities we actually deliver. And certainly options, just given how many symbols there are, uh, the data needs and the, the, the need to analyze and ingest data in the options market is enormous. Yeah, the, the enormity of options can't be understated. You know, if you think about it, uh, there's, there's a certain number of equities and most of them have uh, quite a few options. So by virtue of that relationship, uh, it's just orders of magnitude more, more data than everything else, which presents a lot of fun and interesting technical challenges. You're also responsible for tech uh, related to the ETF business. Absolutely. So it's, it's another complex product in the sense that an ETF is really just a composition of, of many underlying uh, stock symbols in most cases, uh, or other, other products. And so you really have to think about how you're gonna price something that is that composite. So it again has uh, you know, very interesting data needs as well, just given the, the sheer uh, breadth of some of those ETFs in nature. And finally, on the trading side, our client execution service business, retail execution. You could think of Citadel Execution Services as the bridge that sits between our, our market making facilities and various retail brokerages and the like. So, you know, that system is, is the one that's really re required to connect to, you know, many retail brokerages around the world, take in that order flow, manage it, risk control it, and route it to the appropriate engine or, or venue for execution. It's a highly uh, reliable system that we've built to you know, also scale well uh, because the retail market continues to change in terms of the dynamics and volume. Your organization partners very closely with our quantitative research group. Can you talk to us a little bit about how what you build and the, the partnership you provide to that group, how that impacts the markets and how that impacts what we can provide to clients? Fundamentally, if you think about it, uh, a lot of what we're doing are trying to build more predictive models of the markets. And the reason why we're trying to do that is the more predictive we could be, the better quality of service or, or price of service we can offer one of our clients. And if you think about that from an end-to-end -end perspective and what technology is needed, we need the ability on the research side to be able to efficiently iterate on ideas, to run large computations uh, easily and cost efficiently, uh, and, and do other tasks related to that to do research efficiently to build those better models. So when you think of the entire flow, it, it really starts in research and, and our efficiency and process there and moves throughout the stages of, of eventually becoming something that runs in production and provides clients with a better experience or price. What is the importance of good predictive analytics? What does that enable for us as a business? It enables us to be able to price and assess risk more accurately, which influences the way we trade in the market. And that's the core of really what we do. Uh, if you think about it, we're, most of the services we're offering e either trade out immediacy of execution, if somebody wants to do something now and they're more flexible on the price, or you know, trying to get the best price over some, some particular time horizon. So the more predictive we could be about where the markets might go in the future, the better we can offer those services. Well, thank you, Josh, for a great conversation. It was fun. Thanks.